Hi everyone, Suzanne here. Um, my pronouns are she, her, and I am one of the members of Colorado Hippos Triathlon Club, and I am gonna show you my transition area setup. So, of course it just started raining as soon as I was gonna do this video, so I'm in my garage. Sorry for the less than photogenic background, but it'll work. So, first, the bike. Uh, when you get to your race, you'll find your spot in the transition area. They usually have it arranged by your bib number. If it's a bigger race, if it's a smaller race, you might just be able to set up wherever you want. And I like to rack my bike on the front of the seat. So there'll be racks set up and you just go find your spot. And I like to hang it facing forward on the front of the seat like that. So I don't have to turn the bike around in transition. I just come in, pull it down, and go when I'm ready. Okay, my secret weapon for transition, a pickle bucket. Yours doesn't have to be from actual pickles, but it's just funnier to say pickle bucket. So get yourself a pickle bucket, get yourself some Sharpies, some paint pens, decorate it to make it yours, get excited about your race is a really fun thing to do. Like the, the day before the race or a couple days before, um, just to kind of get your mind uh, excited. So this is a tattoo that my family all has, so we put that on all of our triathlon stuff. All right, helmet, buckle, unbuckle. Everything needs to be undone so you can access it quickly in transition. So. I hang it on my handlebar right there, sunglasses, hang those somewhere on the handlebars or your cables or somewhere on your bike, just hang those there so they're accessible. Okay, and then bike shoes. Have all the straps, buckles, everything open, pull the tongue out, make it as wide open as you can so you can just slide your foot in when you're done with your swim. Okay. I also have my goggles and swim cap. Of course, I would have these on at the start of the race, but um, the pickle bucket also serves as a great thing to carry all of your stuff. So I have those in there. I'll put these on and walk down to the water at the start. So next we have some water. It's always good to have extra water wherever you can, definitely have some on your bike, especially if your uh, bike is not supported on your race. Some, some races have water on the bike course and some don't. Okay, running shoes, untied, if that's how you have to get into your shoes. Um, so make sure these laces are open, the tongue is up, everything is just ready to slide right into it, okay. Now, the magic of the pickle bucket. For, especially for people in larger bodies, maybe people that are new to a race might have a little extra adrenaline and uh, maybe standing on one foot and putting your socks and shoes on when you're soaking wet is a little more challenging. Now, you have a seat. Two towels. One, you can lay on the ground. So, most places you won't have very wide of a space so you can put this kind of like right in front of your bike if you have a very narrow space if you have a little more room you can spread out one towel on the ground so when you come up stomp your feet on the towel and get your feet dried off you can have your bike shoes um right in front and your running shoes out to the side or some set up like that have your socks, if you're gonna wear socks, some people don't wear socks, um, have your socks here. And then your second towel, I like to have it just sitting on top of the bucket. You can come and grab it and uh, wipe your hands, wipe your face, whatever you need to do to get yourself ready. Then you can have a seat on your bucket and dry your feet off, get your bike shoes on, and uh, you're off on the bike. Then when you come back, it's a little bit simpler switching from the bike to the run. Just pop your cycle shoes off, pop your running shoes on, 
Uh, some people like to have a hat for running, um, just to keep the sun out of your eyes because usually it's um, getting warm by then. And make sure that you have your race number um, because you won't have that on during the swim and sometimes the bike. So if you have your race number on a race belt or pinned to a t-shirt that you just throw on in transition, um, you'll do that for the run. And uh, yeah, then you cross the finish line and celebrate. So that's my transition area set up. Bike facing forward, everything unbuckled and open and ready to go. And a pickle bucket to sit on and also carry all of your junk. So uh, yeah, happy racing.